As an overview, Football for Peace started in 2006. Our co-founder is Elias Figueroa, he's a FIFA legend. Um, he grew up in the era of Maradona and Pele, and he launched this initiative uh, officially at the United Nations in 2006. I co-founded the initiative in 2013, and alhamdulillah, since then we've now become a global NGO which is raising awareness and resource and funds for the most pressing issues facing both people and planet from both a social perspective and an environment perspective. My inspiration um, for Football Peace has been my mother. Um, she's been, you know, the kind of cornerstone for me to try and help me along my own journey as growing up as, you know, a professional footballer in the early days and now taking on this life challenge on trying to advocate that football can do so much more. My mum has always been that person that's been kind of the driving force and supporting me because she's also herself had a lot of issues. So she came over as a refugee from Uganda, um, she faced a lot of issues and she brought me up to be where I am today and she always taught me that you know in life whatever you achieve what you don't achieve the most important thing is to look at what others don't have and appreciate what you have and I've always carried those models um, and morals with me in my life. I think football obviously as everyone talks about um, is universal language and it's been very easy to try and use that to you know break into new markets etc but I think the one thing that I have been personally lobbying for is that I really believe that still we haven't unlocked the power of football um, because so much more can be done at a government level, at a grassroots level, you know, um, community, diplomatic. So I feel that's where that's where football for peace is niche is. And our aim is to try and look at upskilling 10 million young leaders around the world and get these young children to take on actions of good deeds. Um, and really bringing the star power of football to incentivize people to do good. So what we want to challenge now in the next stage is that actually if we start contributing to challenge issues like water and poverty on a very high level and football can contribute to it, you actually see a difference and reverse of the issues that are ongoing.